Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are here with another video. I'm so excited. I've been gone. I think it's been like a week now, if I'm not mistaken. I posted last Wednesday, so it's been a full week. So today we are back with another video and we are talking all about sweet sweat. This is a waist trimmer belt. Some people call it waist trimmer, waist trainer. Uh, some people call it a sweat band. I mean, it's called all different types of stuff. But we are talking about that today. So before we get into the video, I'm going to go over everything that you guys may have questions about. I'm going to give you my opinion. I've been using this for about two, three years now. So I feel like I can give you good judgment on this product. So remember to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. Also, turn on your notification bell if you don't have it already on. And remember you guys, comment below if you have any questions about this product or you know anything that I didn't address you feel, you can comment below. So let's go ahead and get into the video. The Sweet Sweat Band. This is the band that it's called. So I'm gonna give you a close up. Mine might look a little old because you know, I've had it for a while. Um, I've actually had it for like three years now. So today, let's just go over what we're going to go over with this product. So I'm going to talk about the price of the product, how it fits, if it's comfortable, um, does it roll up. I know a lot of people have issues with when they wear um, waist trainer bands. It rolls up when they sit down or when they're working out. So I'm going to give you my opinion on that. Also, the sizing, is, is it really worth what it costs or what the hype is about? And also, if it helps you lose weight. And lastly, if you can wear it all day. Um, some people wonder if you can sleep in it, work out in it, walk around the house in it. I mean, everything. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited. So, before we actually get started, big thanks to me, you guys. I reached 100 subscribers. Um, that's not probably big to a lot of people, but... With me being very new on YouTube, I'm so excited. It did take me a while. However, it did not discourage me. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. So kudos to me. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So the price of the product. Now, FYI, I don't know if they got a website or whatever that you can purchase it off of. I got mine from Amazon. If any of y'all have Amazon Prime, it comes in two days. So I got a size small. Now, a size small is showing here as eight inches in width and 35 inches in length and that's for twenty dollars and 95 cent a medium it's an eight width by 41 inches in length and that's 21.95 you have a large with a nine inch width and a 46 inches length for 22.95 so it looks like it just keeps going up like a dollar um as you get bigger with the size and uh, extra large 10 inches by 51 inches with the length for 23.95 um and then it, lastly it goes up to an extra extra large which is 10 inch width um, by 60 inch length which is 24.95 so this is a very affordable product honestly i'm very cheap if anybody know me i am cheap i don't like to spend money i like to make it but i don't like to spend it so for me, again, I got a size small. Um, I've had a small even when I was a little bit more heavier than I am now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I weigh currently at 145. I used to be 175 and I still wore small. Even though now, of course, it probably goes around my waist a lot more <clears throat> Excuse me, than it did before. But I got a small. It stretches very well. Um, it has an elastic band again mine is old so it might be a little worn out but it has an elastic band sizing right here so again mine is a small and it's pretty long it stretches very nicely I mean very nicely so uh, let me go ahead and try it on for you guys so you wrap it and then you wrap it back you see um Again, I suggest you getting a size that's comfortable for you. I like to bring mine down a little bit because I got a baby fupa right here that is so hard to get rid of. And um, here's a back view. There's another side view. And back to the front. So I actually um, enjoy wearing this to the gym. I actually wear it mostly with cardio, but I do keep it on sometimes depending on if I'm working on my back or doing a little bit of ads. So let's go over the next um, question here. 
how does it fit as i showed you guys it fits very comfortably for me um i don't have an issue with it i honestly prefer it over the keisha kaor i'm sorry like i know probably y'all gonna chop me up for that but I do. I feel like I've had the Keisha, Keisha K.O.R. And I might do a review on that one too because I honestly still have the belt in my closet. But anyway, um, let me know, let me know you guys in the comments below if you want me to do a review on the Keisha K.O.R. Waist, waist belt. But I prefer this one more and if you want a video, I'll go over why. But anyway, um, I like this one. It's, it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. It literally moves with your body. Like... You bend over, it's, it's stretching with you. Does it roll up when I wear it? Yes, it does, but I mean, it's only $20. What do you expect? So, it usually rolls up around the bottom area. Uh, I do have a little bit more lower belly fat than I do at the top. Um, so, I don't know if it's just not completely sitting right because it's not super flat. You get what I'm saying? Um, but yes, it does roll up. And of course it rolls up when I do abs. Now it does not roll up if you're not sitting down. Like if you're standing straight up, it doesn't roll up. If, when I wear this sometimes under my clothes and you know, I'm just walking, it doesn't just roll up on its own. So that's a good thing. I can say it doesn't roll up when I do that. But when I'm sitting or doing any type of movement with my lower body or my stomach going, you know what I mean? It makes sense to roll up and it's only $20 so what do you expect you know what I'm saying um, next question is size and I went over the sizing already um, that's pretty much fit in with the price okay so is it worth it in my opinion yes it's very worth it I feel like it does what it says that it's supposed to do um, is sweet sweat you're going to sweat wearing this and you don't have to buy the cream that comes with it to be honest to sweat I mainly wear mine with cardio. That's really all I wear it for. Sometimes I wear it around the house here and there, but I'm not looking to train my waist with this. This is not a waist trainer. Some people get waist trainers, waist trimmers confused. It's not the same. This is no corset. This doesn't have any strings, so it's not meant to train your waist to be smaller. And to be honest, those don't work. So as soon as you stop wearing them, your, your waist go right back to what it was. My waist is looking a little chunky right now because I ate not too long ago, but, you know, I don't care. But anyway, yes. So, is it worth it in my opinion? Yes, it is worth it. It's freaking 20, 20, 25 hours. Wait, wait. And I've had mine for three years and I still have it. All it has is a little lip roll, but the Velcro still, it, it, I mean, like, I don't have a problem with it coming off when I'm working out. So, I think it's worth it and it makes me sweat. So, I'm cool with paying $25 one time and keeping a product for three to four years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, last, well, actually two more questions. So next question is, does it help you lose weight? No, it does not help you lose weight. You're really just dropping water weight or you're getting a little bit of sweat. That's water. That's just water coming out. That's it. It's not helping you lose weight. You have to really put in the work if you want to lose weight. This is just uh, extra, like icing on top of a cake. You know what I'm saying? It's not really doing the job that you really need it, I mean, to do, you know what I'm saying? Which is work out effectively. Um, don't go to this thinking that you're going to lose weight. That's not the point of these waist trainers. Um, well, excuse me, waistbands or waist trimmers. Um, that's not the point. So, last question is, can you wear it all day? The answer is yes. As I stated, it's very comfortable. Sometimes I wear it under my clothes. Literally, when I went to the hair salon, FYI, I did cut all my hair off. Um, I wore it at the salon. And honestly, I got home and I was sweating underneath of it. So, it's like, it's, it's very comfortable. And depending on how tight you have it, you can kind of see it under your clothes, but not really. Sometimes I wear it, you know, when I'm walking around the house, you know, cleaning up because I'm moving around. Any type of um, movement I'm doing, I usually put this on. If you guys want a video on the Keisha K.O.R., waist trainer or waist trimmer i'm not sure what she call it let me know comment below if you have any questions and that's it remember to subscribe to my channel i'm back you guys i'm so excited i thank you for being so patient with me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye